Hi, welcome backstage at Bloodstock 2015, and I've been joined by Martin from Delane. Um, firstly, welcome. I know you've just literally walked through the door, basically. Yes, thank you. Yeah, it's uh, all goes pretty efficient so far. Yeah. So, uh, but I hope to uh, get a little bit of the vibe of the festival. I hear a lot of good stories about it. So. Excellent, excellent. Um, no, I think. From my point of view, anyway, I think quite possibly that your set tonight is one of the most talked about and anticipated sets of the whole weekend. You know? Oh dear! <laughs> Just to put the pressure on. That's gonna put some pressure on, indeed. Yeah. I mean, what, what can we expect from tonight? Because you're playing the Sophie Lancaster tent, and that's got connections with the band. I know you uh, supporters of the foundation, etc. Yes. So, so uh, for us, it's indeed that? special. Uh, when we got the offer for Bloodstock, we really requested playing on that stage, and since we are affiliated with. Uh, so we Lancaster Foundation for quite some time and uh, we've got an album We Are The Others which goes uh, of course wherever the song We Are The Others goes about Sophie so we play uh, a lot of uh, We Are The Others songs for sure tonight we also play some new material some old material and uh, yeah the main thing is of course giving the people uh, a good time that's why we're here but it's kind of special playing on the stage yeah. so uh, yeah how does it affect, because you play lots of festivals obviously during the summer months etc, how does it, um, the set differ to your normal headline set? Uh, well it's, it's longer because um, we've, got, we've got a little bit more time than, than with normal festival sets and uh, with headlining you play more of your latest album and now we play a little bit more of We Are The Others, so that album, so that's a little bit different. Uh, and normally when you do a festival and you fly in, you, you have like a very a stripped production. And now we've got some of our stuff with us to give a little bit more, a little bit more, uh, to get, get a little bit, get the people a little bit more into the vibe. And that's, uh, that's important. And uh, I'm sure uh, Charlotte, our singer, she will uh, uh, tell, say something about, the, the, about Sophie Lancaster and about the song. So, um, yeah. You've played many, many festivals all over the world. I mean, how does this one compare? Not that you've had a chance really to look around yet, but this is this seems quite a more intimate festival almost. It's a, a middle size. That's what I heard. Yeah. That's what I heard. That it's kind of cozy. And yeah. uh, as I, as you said, I just walked in, but that's the first impression I have. That's a kind of cozy festival, and uh, I liked it very much actually. And uh, you know, it's all about the vibe. If you have a good vibe at the festival, it doesn't really matter if it's big or small and the five should be good and uh, yeah it uh, looks good so far <laughs> now we're, um, we're getting you back here in the UK uh, later in the year I think isn't it um, and on the Euro tour you've got um, Annika van Giersberg and Amberian Dawn um, that's quite a lineup that's yeah quite a lineup. we're honored to have that lineup and uh, we're looking forward to tour with them on the festivals we already uh, met uh, uh, Annika's band uh, Gentle Storm uh, a couple times and of course she's also Dutch so I, I, I had dinner with her and her husband uh, when we talked about this during this tour so looking forward to that same with Imperial and Dawn so uh, it's gonna be fun and uh, the UK shows are going really well the sale so I think we will sell them out pretty soon yeah. and uh, yeah, looking forward to uh, doing that. I mean, your, your fan base in the UK actually is, is, is really strong. Yeah, it's, it's, really it's strong. one of the strongest in the world. Yeah, and somehow we have a good connection with the UK yeah. Yeah. and uh, it differs from country to country. Of course. And uh, the UK is, I think, one of the most important countries for us and it's always a pleasure to play here. The crowd is good, uh, people are nice and uh, uh, I know the language, also very helpful, so um, <laughs> that was nice. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, with the support tax in the UK, you're doing it slightly different, wasn't it? You run some sort of competitions or something for the opening yeah, band? Yeah, that's so correct. You know, how did that come about? Because I think if you have the chance to support other bands and give them a platform, you now we're grateful where we are, and um, uh, yeah, we wanted to give other people the chance to, to give them platform to show their stuff and there were, we got in some really really cool stuff and uh, we are actually honored to uh, have those people at our shows playing their stuff so uh, I'm really curious what I heard from audio is really cool and I'm really curious how it will sound live and one of them of course plays Bloodstock as well so um, 
and for us it's also a good promo, so you help each other, you know, it's, um, so we're really grateful for that. Now, um, I see you're also uh, booked for the 70,000 Tons of Metal Festival. Yes, yeah. it's uh, very tough, uh, we don't have a choice, we have to do it, so... Yeah, well, you know, then let's That's do such a such an odd concept, isn't it? But it but it works. Yeah, you know, it's it's pretty funny. But the very first tour I did in the '90s, when I still played it with the Temptation, we had a tour manager called Andy. And this year, I discovered the same Andy actually invented this cruise. And I I bumped into him in, at Vancouver, and I recognized him, and we got a talk. And then he said he does this cruise. So I didn't know he did, and we already did this cruise once, I didn't know it was him. So uh, it's a pretty uh, small world actually, it's a big punishment to have to do a Caribbean cruise and have to play there, yeah, so sure. it's terrible. Sure. <laughs> it's gonna be fantastic. Yeah. Excellent. Now, um, Human con Contradiction has been out for well, you know, quite a while now, really over a year or so. Um, have you started turning thoughts to um, new material? New, uh, We're already writing. Color? Yeah, I think we've got six songs ready, and uh, if everything goes well, we, I hope we can release in spring next year. But um, the, the big problem is that we play so much, and we've got a lot of very interesting offers to play, that you really have to be careful to have enough time to, to make your album. And the other thing is, I also love making albums. It's one of the most fun things to do, and very learning experience every time. So uh, we're gonna uh, continue working on that in the autumn and winter, and do it before and after the headline tour. Yeah, brilliant. brilliant. And, uh, will the new album take the, sort of the same path, or are you sort of exploring new avenues? Well, you know, I never really think about what direction we should go it just happens and uh, people say when you're done people always say oh it is a little bit like that and and did you do that on purpose and to be honest you just want to write music we love to make and uh, whatever it is you know and uh, uh, I think it will be metal uh, but I also think it will have some rock edges have a little bit more rock uh, in there as well so um, but we only have six songs, so let's see what the whole... What, what were you aiming for, sort of 10, 11? If it's up to me, 30, but uh, <laughs> that's not going to happen in the time we have. So, And I'm pretty picky with all the stuff, so I hope we can end up with 10, 10 tracks. And that's, I hope for more, but I hope we have enough time for that. Because every track I want to give the fullest, I'm not going to compromise on tracks. But uh, I'm also not going to compromise when releasing it, so uh, I think it's going to be 10 or 12, something like that. Excellent, yeah. excellent. Well, you said you're hoping for a 2016 release on that, and that, to me, I mean, it's hard to believe that Lucidity then will be 10 years old. Honestly. Yeah, that's so, true. Yeah. Crazy. So, um, we're going to work on that too, actually, a 10 year anniversary. Yeah. yeah. So perhaps we're thinking of doing a re release and uh, doing special show next year. Like uh, play, play the whole album sort of thing? Or? Yeah, we're working on what to do. I want to keep it a surprise, but yeah, it's, yeah. it's going to be special and we're working on something. Yeah. It's going to be a special year. And, uh, there's always been within the band, doesn't there, that steady progression album to album to album. So Yeah, it's, yeah. it's important to develop, you know, and uh, it's. Uh, yeah, to 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 uh, evolve a little bit, and hopefully the people like it. They're the boss, you know. That they, they decide if they like it or not. So I hope they will. I know as a, as a band, you work pretty damn hard to get where you are today. Um, but do you think the music industry in general has become a lot harder for bands to survive, basically? Yeah, let alone that's develop? true. But you know, we're in the business of being creative, so. You just have to extend that creativity to outside making music and also being creative in the whole way. You know, Delane is a company, I live from it, Charlotte lives from it, and I'm not in it for, for being rich, I don't care about that. I am in it for being able to make music full time and giving the people what I want to give them without any boundaries. Um, so you have to be creative and I think we are really really good at being creative set aside from the music I'm talking about how to run your company so to say yeah, yeah. and uh, that goes that goes okay yeah, yeah. Um, so finally really do you 
Do you get a chance to catch any other bands? Are you going to stay for uh, until tomorrow? And what uh, our flight is going at five o'clock tonight, but I would love to. So we have to see. We have a lot of, yeah. As, as I said, I do promo. Then I have to eat, and we do prep preparing. I hope to see a little bit of Sabaton, our touring mates this year. Yeah. And uh, yeah, then we have to play ourselves. So <laughs> let's see how it goes. Well, it just remains for me to thank you very much indeed for your time. I know you're extremely Welcome. busy, and uh, we're looking so much looking forward to tonight. So it's a huge pleasure and a privilege. So. Thank you very much. Thank you.